Welcome to my channel. A number of people have asked me to respond to Ren's uh, video about 1 million subscribers defining success. And I'm going to do that now, but before I do that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them, for subscribing. Thank you for sharing them, and thank you for commenting on them. I just, I appreciate it so much. It's it's amazing to me what's going on with this channel, and I'm just very, very thankful. So let's take a look at what Ren has to say. I want to keep this short and sweet because I wrote something that I want to share with you. But um, first of all, I just want to say how grateful I am. Um, I've reached a million subscribers on YouTube, which is flipping a huge milestone. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who supported my music over the years, whether you're n newly on board or have been here for a while. I wanted to say thank you to the YouTube reaction community who have gotten behind my stuff in a big way and really helped me reach this goal. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, I wanted to read this, this, this passage that I wrote about success. It's too much for me to remember right now, so bear with me, but yeah. Success to me means that I have a responsibility that transcends me. If I have a platform where people are paying attention, then I feel like it's my duty to make that count. It's far more important than my aspirations with music and what I could personally gain. There's a saying that stuck with me recently, which was a rising tide lifts all ships. Somehow, by finding success for myself has meant that I can find success for the people around me, and that makes me feel very rich. I'm in a very strange position right now where I owe much of my success to the most destructive force in my life, which has been the turbulence of my physical and mental illness. The thing that has by far brought me the most pain has been a source of constant inspiration, which ironically led to creations which brought me the most joy. Hmm. Well, first, hmm. this is emotional. I'm struck by his humility. There's a lot of people that, were they in the position he's in, would not say the things that he's saying. And it speaks highly of him. That he is attributing his success to others. And he points out the irony. Creating art, which Excuse means something me. to somebody else. He points out the irony of how the very thing that has tormented him and tortured him and, and, and caused him so much pain is also the source of so much joy. Seems like that's common in life for many people. I guess it's because the greatest joy you can have in life is when you come through the trials and tribulations that test you. And Lord knows he's had his share. And then some. But his music reflects that. His art, I should say, because it's not just music. It's It transcends music. It transcends many things his his art is a reflection of who he is and what he's been through in his life and, and how much he's endured and how he's come out the other end successful oh boy and can potentially be a companion to somebody else in the dark justifies my own pain. And I desperately needed that to be justified. There are a lot of people alive today who live in the dark. It's a place that I'm very familiar with. In the peak of my health problems, I was severely underweight. All my meals had to be restricted and blended. And I was so tired that I couldn't participate in life. 
I couldn't socialize, I couldn't watch films, I couldn't read, my bones constantly hurt, even standing in the shower was excruciating and exhausting. And this went on for years, with no answers. Nobody could have ever convinced me during that time that my pain and suffering would be a source for something good, because it felt insidious. Nobody could have ever convinced me that something constructive can come from hurting every day. But I'm here to tell you that if you are hurting every day, don't be afraid. One thing I know to be a certain, to be a constant law of the universe, is that life is inconsistent. Life is beautiful and life is hideous. Life is kind and life is cru cruel. Dancing inside this dichotomy and inconsistency makes me know that you won't hurt forever. Whether that comes from resolution of what you're going through or acceptance of where you are, you won't hurt forever. You don't know yet whether or not your pain conceals gold. It definitely conceals wisdom and it's definitely a catalyst for filling you with empathy. So stand strong, my friends. And Ooh. This is so powerful. The wisdom of his words. Lord have mercy. This isn't easy to watch, but it's so meaningful and so truthful and so powerful. I want to thank every one of you that's asked me to watch this. Don't let the darkness consume you because once you know the dark and become intimate with it, you become very capable of wielding the light. You could be instrumental for changing this world for the better. There's nothing humble about shrinking or doubting yourself because you are large. You can be ferocious and you could be magnificent. For the medical industry who too often let people fall through the cracks, it's your duty to do better. For the people living in the light who have either stepped out of their shadow or have never had to walk beside it, it's your responsibility to pull out, put out untainted love. Our own greed, desire to ferociously expand and decisions rooted in self-interest can benefit ourselves in a material sense, but can be very destructive to the hive and the world around us, ultimately hurting ourselves. So we really must consider that if we're gonna step into a bright future. As humans, we have an incredible potential and it would be a shame to throw it away. So community, humanity, and changing our relationship with the natural world so it leans more towards homeostasis must be a priority, priority number one. If you're watching this and there's a knot tied up in your stomach with bitterness, anger, or hatred for your fellow human being, be with it, feel it, understand it, express it, and then let it go. You're hurting, give yourself love, forgive yourself, and then project that love outwards and the anger will pass. We have a decision. Man. Oh. It sounds trite, but all I can say is he is wise well beyond his years. I hope his message gets out to millions and millions of people. In, in every interaction to tilt the world towards heaven or hell towards jannah or jahannam utopia or dystopia and some people's ideas of heaven will be another's image of hell so tread carefully but treat those differences with respect tapestries are made beautiful because of the variety and the sum of their parts <laughs> thank you to one million people inside this rich tapestry for the opportunity for me to try and spread my own vision of what I believe to be good. And thank you for justifying my pain. Thank you. I love you. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. <sighs> what could I possibly say? That was incredible. <sighs> the whole world needs to hear this message. Every part of it. The whole world needs to heed his words. Wow, I'm just... Mm. Gobsmacked. That's the word that comes to mind. Thank you for asking me to do this. Thank you for watching my channel. And thank you for believing in Wren. And as for all my viewers, I pray every day that you will live abundant lives, that you will be healthy, and that you will live a long life, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray that you will be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Mirror Vet, out.